Good afternoon. Oh, and my camera's gone wrong. <laughs> All right, let me fix that. Why does it sometimes do this? It's so annoying. Oh, I still haven't found out what causes it. Bear with me for a moment, my, my, my fellow wing commanders. <sighs> There's something really weird about the pan control in this camera. Every so often, for no obvious reason, it just decides to shift to the right. <laughs> there seems to be no, nothing I could, there's no rhyme or reason to it that I've been able to identify. So, <sighs> hey, what can you do? What can you do? Never mind, never mind. Anyway, welcome back, welcome back, commanders. Welcome back, wing commanders. Let's get this right. We are here to play more retro games on a Saturday afternoon. What else would you want to be doing on a Saturday afternoon in the middle of autumn butt plays of retro computer games? Um, anyway, here we go. So, Mad Monk's off this here. Get to those kill wrathy scum. I think that's. <laughs> That's the war cry. Yes, let's do it. Uh, Winter Meter's here. Commander Terakoff is here. German Aviator is here. Uh, excellent. Um, Octurus Deluxe is here. The Big Boo 5. Good to see you, sir. Uh, Commander Simon Gray. Commander Kelvinator. Nimja Squid is here. And Chris Viking as well. Fantastic to have you all aboard, my friends. Right. Let's let's crack on into MS-DOS territory. There we go. Um, if I can get this to work again. Uh, is it alt? There we go. Alt enter. <coughs> Oh dear, here we go. Right, so Wing Commander 2. Now this follows on, um, amazingly enough, from Wing Commander 1. <laughs> Have you figured out how they kind of connect? It's, it's, it's pretty complicated stuff, but... Um, so this is this is, <laughs> this is is Wing Commander 2, which follows on from Wing Commander 1. Uh, yeah, nice hat attachment, so thank you for that. That's, um, it's kind of... Um, I don't know, it's like a, a planet with a kind of spaceman hanging off it. I don't know. <laughs> I saw it, I thought, I haven't done it, I've used that one yet, so I'll do it. So, yeah, it's, it's netty because it, it wobbles around when I wobble around. Uh, so when I get excited, yeah, the space man will jiggle. <laughs> so this is this is the excitement indicator. <laughs> OK, modern 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 people. OK, yeah, modern people, you know, young, young, youngsters and stuff doing Twitch streaming will have little gauges and things on their uh, on their Twitch displays. OK, that show how cool everything is getting. No, no, me, I've got I've got the excitement meter. There you go. <laughs> It's low tech, but it works. Okay, it's low tech, but it works. Um, so yes. Yeah, so anyway, so Wing Commander Two. Now this um, came out pretty quickly. Commander Kelvin Ed finds that distracting. <laughs> I'll try not to move. Shall I sit really still throughout the entire stream? <laughs> it's a hype train. Yes, this is a hype train indicator. That's what that is. Um, so Wing Commander Two came out, I believe, in 1991. So only like a year after the uh, previous. Uh, game. So as far as I know, it's based on the same technology. So it's the same kind of game engine behind this. So this is basically uh, a, a, you know, a, you know, a perfect sequel, really. It's the same game technology, new story. Um, so, um, and I don't, I, again, I've not played it before, so I don't know. Um, this one is more polished, clearly, with a 386 mic, so I haven't played it yet, so it's going to be interesting to see what improvements they've made over the previous version. Because if I had a complaint over the previous version, having played it, and again, I'm playing it in an emulator, so I'm not playing it in its kind of real um, uh, real thing, is that um, every so often the frame rate would, would chug a bit, which made it quite hard to play. And the graphics did make it quite hard to figure out what was going on some of the time. So it um, be interesting to see what difference they've made. Because you know the DOS limitations are still there, so I don't think it's going to be that much different. But it'll be interesting to see what 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 it's like uh, in comparison. So I haven't fired it up at all. I'm going into it completely blind, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Other than I've been presented, this is the DOS start screen, and here I am. So um, let's let's find out which game do I want. I want Wing Commander Two: Vengeance of the Kilrathi. There we go. <laughs> Bob, DJ Squibby is here as well. Some music. I can't quite hear it. Can there we go. I can just about hear some music. I've got to be careful how much volume I have in here because otherwise it echoes back through the mic. Uh, I played the original. Uh, uh, I presume that's Commodore um, Amiga A uh, one uh, twelve hundred. It did some proper chugging on that. I dread to think it was like on the A five hundred. Yeah. Um, so wow, I didn't realise it came out on the Amiga actually. Um, so this is this kind of coincides because I was at university at this time of my life. So I went to university from between 1988 and 1992. A, I didn't have much money, uh, <laughs> which was a limiting factor, uh, and B, um, I didn't really have much time to play games. So this whole this is quite interesting for me because this is sort of 
a missed part of my youth, if that makes sense, because I was at the age where I probably would have liked to play these games, but I didn't have the time, nor at, you know, nor back then did I have a PC. I mean, I was still using my ZX Spectrum at this point in time for word processing my um, my university stuff, you know, <laughs> and using very primitive uh, computers at university. Um, the idea of having a PC with a graphics card uh, was way beyond my means in the early 90s. So all this sort of stuff was like, wow, that's that's proper expensive gaming tech as far as I was concerned back then. And by the time I got my first job, which would have been late 92, um, you know, I was, I was at work, so <laughs> didn't have time to play games on either. So, um, so yeah, so this whole era of gaming up until sort of between 88 and about probably 95 when I started having a bit of money and enough spare time to get back into gaming. Um, it's, it's a bit of a blank canvas for me, so it's quite interesting for me to look at this stuff and yeah, play some of these games that happened around that time, which are you know generally well regarded in terms of wow, they were really cool for the era, uh, but I never played them, so we'll, we'll find out. So um, and uh, there we go. So let's find let's find out what happens. Here we go. Bum bum bum. I love the way that's theatrical. Wing Commander 2 Vengeance. It's, it's very cinematic now, isn't it? Ooh. Now, is that the TCS Tiger's Claw? It is. An attack approach to the Kilthrak Mang sector. Hello. Oh. That, that's our ship, isn't it? The, the Tiger's Claw. Kilthrak Mang sector. I will okay. speak with Prince Drakath alone. Guards, you are dismissed. Arise, grandson. How goes the war against the humans? The Terran carrier Tiger's Claw tried to attack us here at Katithrak Mang, but my stealth fight has destroyed it, and soon we will demolish the rest of their fleet. Speak of your plans, not of your toys. Tell me how you will defeat the Terrans. Yes, my Emperor. Without the Tiger's Claw to defend them, we can crush the rebellion on Gorakar. And then my armada will sweep through the Enigma sector to attack the defenseless colonies. And what of the human pilot who has caused us so much trouble? Those fools blame him for the loss of the Tiger's Claw. He will never fly a fighter again. Excellent. Without him, the Terrans cannot stand against us. Soon, Earth itself will be in our grasp. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Without your flight recorder as evidence, the court couldn't convict you of anything but negligence. But I know the destruction of the Tiger's Claw was your fault, and I still believe that you're guilty of treason. Your ridiculous claims about a Kilrathi cloaking device. It's true, sir. The Kilrathi have invisible fighters. Enough! The court already demoted you to captain. And as far as I'm concerned, your career in the Navy is over. My secretary has already drawn up your resignation. I'm not guilty, sir. I won't sign it. Have it your way then, captain. I have a request from incessant security for a veteran pilot. I'm transferring you to the security forces. You'll spend the rest of your career on a space station. And you'll be the ISS's problem, not mine. Now get out of here, and I hope we never meet again, traitor. Ouch! <laughs> Kazra, what is happening on Gorakar? The rebels have taken the planet, my lord. How can they scum and against their rightful lords? I cannot let them gain my stealth fighter technology. Launch a full spread of missiles directly into the Gorakar shipyards. My lord, we will lose years of progress in your plans for conquering the Terrans. We'll have to wait. Launch the attack, Kazara. Then I will return to the palace and render an apology to the Emperor. <laughs> Ten years later. <laughs> this is a big cutscene, isn't it? Oh, well, here we go. So ten, <laughs> here we go. Ten years later. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was that was quite good, actually. Um, good story. So basically, um, the Tiger's Claw, the um, the um, the main ship that we were on in Wing Commander One, was attacked, so it seems, by some Kilrathi stealth fighters 
and destroyed. Um, me being the hero of the previous game, or not actually, not very good <laughs> to the hero of the previous game, because I was rubbish, um, basically claims that, you know, the, the Tiger's Claw was attacked by stealth fighters, but apparently nobody believes me. <laughs> so, um, and that I think was Admiral Tolwyn, who basically has, has, a, has a thing about me for the rest of the entire series. And um, he's demoted me to captain and then basically posted me to some out, out, you know, distant thing to kind of rot away for the rest of my career. Um, that was really good, actually. The the quality. I mean, I know it might not be much for modern modern era, but the quality of that sound was actually pretty good. I thought. Um, so um, <laughs> that is very cinematic for ninety nine. That's a big step up from the previous game. That really is quite good. It's almost. I mean, it's not full motion video, of course, but it's much better animated than the previous one was. Um, so it looks like I can transfer a personal file. I wonder if that's from the previous game. So can I, can I be the previous person? I, I won't. I'll start off again. But um, <laughs> so yeah, that was that was good. So I'm in disgrace, and I have been for ten years. So time has time has gone on. Um, enter first name. So well, kind of Drew. Is this enter last name Wager? Enter call sign. Well, obviously, squirrel. <laughs> the squirrel must rise again. Flying mission. Well, here we are. We're back on. I don't, where, I don't even know where we are. We're on a space station, aren't we? Uh, so what have we got? We have. We'll fly the mission. Okay. So view view the storyline. There's a bed there. Save load game. Right. Uh, exit to DOS, and that's the airlock. So where is there? Where's the bar? I mean, <laughs> come on. Let's get our priorities right. Um, uh, like the story, disgraced and stealth, classic sci-fi stuff. Yeah, so cloaked ships. Um, you're in disgrace. You're the only guy who knows the real truth. Uh, yeah, classic stuff. It's really good. Um, okay, so save load game is that kind of console over there. One one thing that is good. Okay, one thing I've already noticed that is very very good. Look look around the floor. There are no leaks. <laughs> this is a proper space station. Under that under that mopping up leaks. They, I mean, the tiger's claw was, you know, it was okay, wasn't it? But it was a pretty ramshackle <laughs> affair, let's be honest. Um, the leaks of the... <laughs> go over there just with me on that one as well, yeah. The barracks are much nicer. So where are the barracks? Um, that's the airlock to exit to DOS, which is quite funny. Fly mission, view storyline. Let's just go into there then, is that... Oh, that's the same. That's just the intro sequence. I don't want that. I will speak to yeah, the pretty yeah, rock on Guards, you are dismissed. Arise, grandson. Arise. How goes the war <laughs> yeah, against the I can't the skip you either. <laughs> the Terran carrier Titus. Don't Clark press that button. To attack us here at Katithrak Mang. I can't. I can't skip it. Several weeks later. I can skip bits of it. Okay, well there we are. All right, we're back. All right. <laughs> Simon Dan was his afternoon drew, um, as did somebody else. Uh, I can't remember, where's it gone? Um, somebody else said hello. Um, did I try escape? Yeah, I did press escape, that didn't work. Right, so that that just recaps. Where's the. Is there no bar? <laughs> There's no space bar, what's going on? Um, right, anyway. Um, <laughs> Fly the mission, I guess. That seems to be the, the only way forward. So I have no preamble here. What's what's going on? Stardate. Flight deck. Canavon Station. Uh, Canavon Station. Oh, that is in the Welsh sector, of course. Well, it's another exciting day at Action Central. Who's this? Um, you think you're up for it, screw? <laughs> Just glad to be out from behind the desk for a while. Oh, he's looking a bit older and careworn now, isn't he? Even though it's just a flyer patrol of the ferret. <laughs> ferret. That's those ferrets from No Man's Sky. I like the ferrets, they're quick and light. <laughs> That's the magnetized ferrets you've got to worry about. I feel safer in a heavier ship like the Rapier. Yes, me too. So what's the plan for today? Oh, it's Shadow. Okay, anything new? Shadow and Squirrel. There we go. I'm afraid not. <laughs> we'll fly the standard diamond patrol to get really hostile. Okay. <coughs> you know, all those pirates in Karath are just waiting to descend on this place. Um, to be honest, I don't know why we bother. 
Nothing ever happens in this godforsaken space station, presumably. No one spotted as much as an enemy garbage can. There we go. <laughs> 25 things of here. <laughs> Look where this story is going. Look at it this way, Liz. Okay, her name is Liz. If we didn't keep the brass happy, they'd give us even less glamorous missions. Fair enough. So this is, this is, this is the arse end of space we're here now. A joyride through the asteroid belt's a lot better than writing manpower reports. Uh, <laughs> right through. Oh, now she's going to be first names. Uh, it's been years since I've dusted a uh, garbage scale. <laughs> oh, well, oh, oh, look at the spaceship though, that looks quite cool. It's like an X-Wing sort of thing. Um, uh, Kilrath needs me to <laughs> mint certainty. Maybe later the hours are better, better pay. Squirrels and a ferret. Uh, that's not right. Squirrels and ferrets. <laughs> Magnetized ferrets. <laughs> right, okay, we're back in the ship. Right, now, the question is, are the controls the same? <laughs> Let's find out if it works. I have my high-tech 80s printout <laughs> from Wing Commander 1. Um, the good news is the joystick works. Okay, so that, that's good. The guns work, which seem to be very similar. Um, <coughs> select the gun type. I appear to only have one gun. Uh, what's the other one? Missile type. M, was that? Oh, that's changed message duration. Where's the missile? W. Don't, either I don't have any missiles, <laughs> or that's not doing anything. Okay, so what have I got here? Four and a half shields, A for autopilot, um, control E for eject, display ship damage. No, that doesn't work either. Well, let's, let's, let's see how we do. Right, anyway, so let's, let's go for A for autopilot. Right, that worked. Oh, that's fast. They're attacking us, sir. Oh, we've actually got in game digitized comms. Oh, okay. The, uh, right, so presumably I can send message shadow. Um, Affirmative, Captain. Oh, that's much better than the previous version. We can actually you get comms. Right, my well, speed controls work. That's good. Right, let's deal with these Kilrathi. Ow! <laughs> Doctor Reggie. <laughs> You have died. Um, would you like to replay the mission? Yes, I would. Oh, I can just go straight back. That's an improvement as well, right? <laughs> Let's pay more attention this time. <laughs> Cardboard ship. <laughs> I think I'll go a little bit slow. I think I rammed things there. Let's pay attention. They're attacking us, sir. They're attacking us, sir. Right, that's quite good. Break and attack. Captain. That's quite good. That is a bit more immersive. You can have comms with your NPCs. Improvements over the previous game there already. Digitized speech, which is pretty cool. Graphics are very similar, but I can fire now multiple times, which is really nice. So I can sort of do a volley. Oh, it's quite fast. It seems to be, <laughs> seems to be much more difficult. Uh, or maybe I'm just out of practice from last week, whenever it was. Ugh, that's one line. Their AI for the ships is very different now, isn't it? They're not... One fighter down. Nice, well done, Lydia. Yay, we did it! Okay, my four and a half armor is dead. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's, that's a good point. Um, it does look much better. Yeah, apart from I died. There we go. First mission. Apart from that, I'm already damaged. Objective reached. Good. Okay, so that was just a general scan. Okay, asteroid belt. Usual thing. Well, look, the inside of my ship's taking a little bit of damage. Look at that on the top right. That's quite cool on the HUD. 
little effects like that are really good. I like that. It's quite impressive actually for a year's development how much has moved on. But the basic game underneath here is still the same but some quite considerable sort of nowadays would be called quality of life improvements I suppose. That's that's, that's actually really good. Um, the voice acting, yeah, the voice acting is pretty good, isn't it? Um, considering the limitation, I mean, it's 1991, presumably, I don't know, did these games come on CD? Um, I'm guessing they must have done with the kind of amount of data that those digital samples would take up. Um, that's pretty impressive, yeah. Yeah, amazing luck, says Big Booth. <laughs> Ten years of boredom, and you show up on the day it gets exciting. Funny that, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose that the uh, last 10 years wouldn't have made for They're attacking game. us, sir. It's still floppies, is it? Okay, so, wow, my shadow, breaking attack. Affirmative, Captain. Affirmative, Captain. <laughs> She's got a slightly funny accent, but I won't hold that against her. Um, since she seems to be half good at fighting already. Oh, I've lost one of my guns. And I've lost my target looking thing. for a first level <laughs> would I like to continue the script um, <coughs> wow probably lots and lots of floppies um, Wing Commander didn't come out on Amiga oh, I don't know Oof. Um, let's try again this is surprisingly difficult actually for a, for a beginner mission they're attacking us sir Affirmative, like the, Captain. Don't like the foreboding here. It's not not easy at all. What would be really handy is some sort of leading reticle for the gun sight. But it doesn't have one. There we go, that's one down. Watch your target, Captain! Soft targets once you learn how to hit them. AI is surprisingly good, actually. Watch your target, Captain. Just... Watch your target, Captain. <laughs> Sorry, I keep shooting my co pilot. Is it? Oh, the en enemy seems to want to stay really close to the boom. Gotcha. Yeah, right, that was a bit better. <laughs> wow, 38 megabyte on GOG, so CD I'm guessing more floppies and win 30 bond yet. Yeah, wow, play these on the PlayStation, says GDS Gibby. The SFX of the shooting needs improvement. The sound more like you are stapling them. <laughs> Seem to, they seem to still be doing that kind of home in on you thing that the asteroid belt will do. Um, <laughs> what did that one come from? Um, yeah, so the stapler sounds is <laughs> not really a good pew pew sound, is it? Um, 
So likely floppies. And then my five the five floppy install of X Wing. So when did when did the original X Wing come out by comparison? So this is ninety one. When did when did X Wing come out? They're attacking us, sir. Alright, go in. Affirmative, do Captain. Watch your target, Captain. <laughs> she seems Not to be an expert. bad, sir. Not flying into my my attack. <laughs> Watch your target, Captain. <laughs> She's gonna get boom. We got them. She's gonna get very annoyed at me soon. Keep shooting at her. Um, so this is this is pretty impressive actually. This is, there's definite improvements here, which is which is good. Okay, so we made it back to the space station. So okay, I've got to figure out how to dock here. Bit slow down there. So the Carnarvon. You are cleared Go. to land. You're cleared to land. But how do I approach it? I'm guessing I just sort of go in slowly. Yes. Carnarvon Station, this is Carnarvon Patrol. More cutscenes, it's quite good. Squirrel, this is Carnarvon, what's your status? I'm returning from the enemy encounter. Ooh. Ran into Sartha light fighters at nav point one. <coughs> and a wing of Del uh, Draki at nav point three. I, I, I was definitely on the case there, which ship for which. Say again, Squirrel, you encountered enemy fighter craft in this area. Roger that, Carnarvon, I took out four enemy ships. Shadow kept them off my back, but didn't nail any herself. Hurry back to base, Carnarvon Patrol. Ooh. So there are Kilrathi in this sector. Those cats haven't hightailed it by now. And we'll need your flight record data for the next patrol. Bum ba ba! The ferret is totally not a viper lookalike. Return to base, Carnarvon. Well, it looks I don't know. It's it's got it's it looks like an X-wing without the out the laser guns, doesn't it? Um, very Welsh oriented. Yeah, I don't know what the big deal about. Carnarvon Station is. Ooh, look at the landing. That's quite cool. Yeah, these cutscenes, they've definitely spent some time on these, haven't they? I'll come back, sir. It's much more cinematic than the previous version. Really quite good. Right, let's let's save. Uh, scroll. Select a slot to save in. Okay. So this isn't it's not like the beds from the previous one. Let's just call it scroll. So I presume I can load that if I need to, yeah, okay. Cool, right, that's good. How do I get back out? Just click some, oh, hang on, flight deck, Carnarvon Station. Hmm. Are you all right, Shadow? Bum, bum, bum. I'm okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> that patrol scared me, Drew. You did fine, Liz. I'm just a reservist, I'm not supposed to fly combat missions. You did brilliantly, I thought. All I think about is getting home to my family. Now the Kirathia here in the, the Gwynedd system. <laughs> it's definitely got a Welsh thing going on, hasn't it? I don't know if I can face them again, Squirrel. By the way, she alternates between Drew and Squirrel. We may have to fight the Kirathia again, Liz. Fight them, or just give up, like the Society of Mandarins. Who are they? Mandarins, those bastards, <laughs> trying to betray us to the Karathi. Again, strong language for a, for a game. <laughs> Don't they know what the cats will do to humanity? So who are these guys? Yeah, I think they're nuts too. <laughs> it's cruel. <laughs> well, you have a freighter to escort out to the jump point. And I have com room duty. We'll talk more later, Liz. Everything will be okay, honest. Okay, so that's the storyline. Presumably that takes me back to what I've just seen. Um, <laughs> it's quite interesting, actually. Um, I remember the okay. So the original release didn't have the voiceovers. Okay, small clips were available for cinematic scenes. I know my floppy disk version of X Wing had voice acted cinematic scenes. Um, wow. Okay. Um, escort missions, everyone's favourite. Yeah. 
or sports. Yes, or trend sports. No, it was just sports, wasn't it? Wow. Um, <laughs> Chris Vikey, that's why I went, welcome to the world sector. Yeah, Carnarvon and Gwynedd. Wow. Anyway, okay, so I'm assuming that takes me back. This, wait, where's the bar? I mean, come on. Where, where's, where's my interaction with... Um, where the other... Yeah. <laughs> Scort the sports. That's what it's all about. Where's... <laughs> Here's the bar. I've been demoted. I'm not allowed to go to the bar. This is a this is a very low point in my space opera. <laughs> there's no bar. I mean, there's a space station for goodness sake. What else is on the space station? All I can do is fly the mission or <laughs> exit the DOS. No bar. It's just outrageous. What's going on? Um, <laughs> even modern computer games have bars, even if you can't buy a drink. Communications room, Carnarvon station, right? Carnarvon Station to incoming capital ship, Vector Alpha 7 Epsilon. Please identify yourself. Repeat, incoming ship, identify yourself. Um, Mayday, Mayday Station Carnarvon, this is the TCS Concordia. New new ship. We are being pursued by Kilrathi fighters. What's your status, Concordia? Well, we're being pursued by Kilrathi fighters. <laughs> It's got the TCS Beowulf has been destroyed. On our hangar bay is damaged, we can't launch fighters. Oh dear, yeah, that's bad. We require immediate assistance, Carnarvon. Well, we've only got a squirrel and a, whatever the other lady was called. Roger Concordia, we're launching fighters. Guess what the next mission is? Attention all hands, battle stations, this is not a drill. Zzz, this is a drill. <laughs> Captain Norwood, report. Just returning from patrol, squirrel, what's going on? Don't land, Liz. I'll launch and meet you in space. Oh, she'll be now. Come back again. Right. Here we go. Oh, I'm back in. I'm back in my ferret. <laughs> my magnetized ferret. Yeah, there's some 3D rendering on backgrounds and sequences. It is. There's some clever stuff going on. Look at the guy launching me out. That way. It's very American, though. Very kind of... Um, very cool. Uh, very kind of... Um, American... Uh, aircraft carry, so, which is obviously what it's based on, which is quite good. It's quite good. The bar's my reward, is it? Oh, I've got mouse control as well, if I want it, which I don't. Um, <coughs> all right, here we go. All right, formed up with Liz. We're going to deal with some squirrels. They're attacking us, sir. Affirm go get them, Liz. Yeah! Oh, look, even the Kilrathi have Not got bad, voice acting. <laughs> There's the, there's the Concordia. Let's get in over there then. Again, we've got to save the Concordia. One fighter down. Oh, someone's shooting me from behind. Where is the bomber? One fighter down. Nice. Well done, Liz. Gosh, she's doing better than me. Where's the target? There's one there. It seems to be spinning out of control. Is that? No, that's not a target. Where's the target? There it is! Let's get it. The Concordia would get out of the way. This is the cat. Love it. Right, there's still a target ahead of me, but there doesn't seem to be anything there. Where's the Concordia gone? I'm slightly ominous. Is that the Concordia there, the white dot? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so the Concordia's dot. So what's that red dot? Oh, it was just out of range. Okay. Let's deal with this guy. Got a much higher rate of fire, which is really nice. Dear, come on. <laughs> like I said, this is this is more difficult than it needs to be. Difficulty is definitely They're higher than the previous us, game. Alright, get out there and break the attack shadow. Because you're clearly a more competent pilot than I am. Let's do that again. I think this is how it's gonna go, I'm afraid, my friends. Ooh, I think we've got one. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Love it. You've 
got to be a bit careful of the collision box, I think, with the enemy or your own ships. One fighter down. Time to die, human. <laughs> That's definitely quite good from an immersion perspective, isn't it? Or the, or the... <laughs> Watch your target, Captain. I'm trying. To... Wish the Concordia wasn't everywhere. Did we get them? Yay. Prepare for landing scroll. There we go. I need my space T, that's why. Space T is coming. Space T is coming. Roger that, Concordia. Look at that. 3D rendering. This stuff is going on, isn't it? That's much better than before. That's quite cool. Um, ramming speed, yeah. The colonel wants to speak with you, sir. Oh, dear. Find the TCS Concordia. Look at that. There's lots of little details in there. That's really good. Angel, what are you doing here? Angel! Angel from the game number one, ten years on. I'm the commander of the Concordia's fighter squadron, Drew. And I understand that you and your wingman are sisters. Is she still host is she hostile to me now then? Thank you, Mon ami. Okay, maybe not. Uh, without you the Concordia might have been destroyed, so respect from an old button. She had green eyes last time, so what's she is she wearing contacts? <laughs> when I got your distress call, I knew I was the best part to help. I see you are as mothers as ever, squirrel. And who's your wingman? <laughs> She's French, isn't she? Um Captain Elizabeth Norwood of in-system security, ma'am. I've got blue hair too. Without Liz, I might not have made it. She's a good wingman. Thanks, Captain. Just do my best. You both did very well. I heard from the Admiral we had around the Freltra. Now their fighters are destroyed, they will have a difficult time tracking us. Didn't she die? I don't I can't remember. I, maybe she got reincarnated. Um, Frouthy nearly destroyed us in the last battle. We need some time for repairs before fighting here again. Okay, so I'm going to transfer to the TCS Concordia, I presume. But I must go to the bridge. Why don't you meet me on the observation deck later, d'accord? <laughs> um, she did in Drew's bad plotline, but she obviously ejected and survived. I'm looking forward to it. Boom, there we go. Right, okay, so still no... Oh, hang on, no, look, flying mission. I can't go in there. Now that door's closed and that door's, <laughs> that door's open. Okay. Um, let's let's save the squirrel. What am I doing? Are you sure? Yes. I like the kind of UI thing going on here. That's that's quite good. Um, observation deck. Warning not to be occupied during full alert. Uh, join us, squirrel. We were just speaking the old time in another me. Yeah, when I was in disgrace. It's been so long since we've all been together. Okay, who else is here then? Um, it certainly has. Are you well, my friend? Who's that? Is that, um, what was her name? Spirit. Yay, Spirit. Spirit's here as well. So here we are, survivors of the Tiger's Claw. Who's that? It's like Chakotay from Star Trek. I'm surprised there are so many of us left. Now all we need is Paladin and Maniac. No, we don't. We don't need them. So we can all die together. <laughs> what a cheerful thought, Doomsday. Doomsday, who's Doomsday? So, Squirrel, what have we been up to these last few years? Well, I was demoted. It all went downhill from there. <laughs> After the Tiger's Claw, I was assigned to the Carnarvon Station. I've been here ever since. It's been ten years since I've done a combat mission. Apart from the two I've just flown. <laughs> but you have not lost your skills. You and Shadow saved the Concordia. One for two now, eh, Squirrel? What does that mean? <laughs> Nothing wrong with batting. 0.500, I guess. What's that mean? Go to hell, Jazz. Oh, he doesn't like him. What does that mean? <laughs> Is that the Americanism? I don't understand that. Now the barracks on the TCS Concordia. Instead of a bar, you get a classy lounge. Yeah. Squirrel, wait! <laughs> Let me apologise for Jazz. You must understand, even after you were quitted, some people doubted you. Ah, probably a baseball to me, I don't know. What was that, two for one or something? Did you, Angel? Oh, oh Drew, I know what you were not responsible for what happened to the Tiger's Claw. It's very personable, isn't she? Um, <coughs> but Jazz, he's bitter, perhaps mostly I think he's jealous. Until you arrived, he was the best pilot on the Concordia. Ah, a bit of healthy competition then. But he knows you're better. Please do not take it personally. <laughs> I love the way they get a bit of angst into the into the pilot interactions. Thanks, Jeanette. 
Uh, I'll try not to let them get to me. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's good. That is good writing. That is good writing. Um, right, so fly the mission. Okay. Uh, I'll probably save it just so we don't have to go through that again. Yes. What if I have to give it a new name? Squirrel. There we go. Uh, <coughs> so let's fly whatever the next mission. Oh no, let's come back. Have we just done this? Why do I have to go through again? We can all die together. Nothing wrong. Go to hell. <laughs> Etc. Right. Barracks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like that. That's a bit weird. Oh, well, never mind. Right, fly mission, presumably. Uh, space kettle on. Yeah, space kettle on. I believe batting 500 means you hit 50% of pitches or something. I know a little bit about baseball, but I'm not going to put away very much. Okay, that's quite interesting. So, from hero to being the scapegoat for the Concordia's destruction is pretty extreme. Uh, no, it wasn't the Concordia, it was the Tiger's Claw, wasn't it? I'm the scapegoat for the Tiger's Claw. Concordia is the ship we're on, right? So. Let's find out what happens next then. Okay, so we're back on the we're on the TCS Concordia now. Um, settle down, people. Is it two o'clock in the morning? Yesterday's squirrel and shadow of the Carnarvon helped defend the Concordia. Okay, she's in charge. She's done all right. Um, today they'll escort Goldwing against the Kilrathi cruiser. Gold is a pair of broadsword bombers, squirrel. You'll have to protect them from any fighters. Oh, great. Count on that, Angel. Got to get my reputation back. Good. Stingray, you lead Goldwing. Who's Stingray? What? No way I'm flying with a coward of... <laughs> Katak Bang. Yeah, she's the Kag, isn't she? Yeah, so Angel's done all right for herself, which is good. Okay. Oh, hang on. I think the Space Tea has arrived. In the middle of the briefing, which is a perfect time. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a battle. Yay, thank you very much for that. That's pretty. There's the Space Tea in the briefing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. In that case, Kilroy, you'll leave. Oh, she, she's allowing the pilots to choose their missions. That's bad for morale, that is. Uh, Kilroy Squirrel, you'll sweep through the nav point to intercept the cruiser. Space T, yep. Uh, right, yeah, we'll do that. Squirrel, your light fighters can't punch through a capital ship's phase shields. Okay, so once you've taken out enemy any, any fighter cover, back off. Let the broadswords torpedoes take out the cruiser. Okay, sounds like a plan to me. Now the assignments for the diversion wings. Angel quickly concludes the briefing. So she's in charge. Like she was, she was my wingman at one point. So I really am down the pecking order, aren't I? Uh, ah, well, there we go. Godspeed, my friends. Dismissed. Like Dick TJ's Concordia. Yeah, the cutscenes are way better now, aren't they? Commander, space group, missions at death. Yeah, like most of these missions. Go, launch! It's much more cool animation. Glad much better you, than before. Oh, look, look, the spaceships as well. Don't fly close to my ship. Uh, okay, so we're escorting some broadsworthies. No more heroic running down. Yeah, all well, that. Just climbing a ladder. That's heroic, I feel. <laughs> now look, so I'm escorting the broadsword, those big ships. Okay, this is surely going to go badly. All right, so objective reached. We're here. Nothing in that sector. It's going to be trouble ahead. They're attacking us, sir. They're attacking us, sir. Right. Affirmative, Captain. The Imperial Guard will kill you. Shadow. 
Watch your target, sir. Watch your target, sir. <laughs> Stop flying into my guns, then. <laughs> Fighter down. Feast on my entrails. Excellent. Watch oh, the target, the sir. Where? Get out there. Oh. Nailed that capital ship. Oh, nailed the capital ship by the sound of it. Boom. Yay, well done, everybody. Successful mission then, maybe. Chips than the kill Randy. Attacking us, sir. Has <laughs> anybody considered Affirmative just giving the Kilrathi some Judah? <laughs> I think that's a really good plan, actually. Uh, my cat would be up for that. The only problem with this, the way the HUD set up here is it's really hard to lead the target because you the nose of your ship is kind of in the line of sight when you're trying to lead the target from the bottom. I need a, a wider open cockpit ideally. It's quite hard to lead the target up and down because you don't have enough lead time. Yeah! <laughs> That's so good. That really makes you feel like you're killing somebody. That's you know, which is well, maybe not a good thing. <laughs> it's quite, it's quite good for the game. Just look, I can't, I can't leave the target because I can't see far enough ahead. That's quite difficult, particularly when they insist on flying up and down. Which I suppose maybe they know the vulnerability of my ship, but. When they're flying left and right, it's a bit easier. It's a bit of the script because I think we, we killed the capital ship. There we go. Although <laughs> Okay well I just died. Okay. So that that's that, <laughs> that doesn't really help. That doesn't really continue the script, does it? That just gets to the end of the game. <laughs> Resume current game, right. Okay, so that's, that's <laughs> that was a bit weird. Um resume script. Oh you did. <laughs> Why didn't you just kill me? Uh I've got to start that again. That's hard. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the smaller window displays for performance reasons could be. Sorry, I, I do like listening to you. Glad Angel, but... to see you, sir. Mm. Yeah, the Kilrathi actually bother themselves to turn on comms to transmit their agonized death screams. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to die. Click comms. Ah! They're attacking us, sir. Affirmative, Captain. Yeah, I'm not that to kill you. I am going to kill you. No, you are not. Alright, 
Let's see if I can do this to kill Rathy's skill again. I have to say, it's 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 a more entertaining game already. You cannot defeat the Dark Eye! You cannot defeat the Dark Eye! You cannot defeat the Dark Eye! Yes, One fighter down! <laughs> that must be the. That's the baddest ship, isn't it? Souls do their thing. Can we actually watch them do their thing? There they go, they're chucking stuff at it. Boom. Yeah, you go for it, boys. Okay, it's only a few pixels at long range, but. Uh... Boom! Kill that capital ship! Yeah, you killed the capital ship. Nice! Boom! Is the game running too fast? Maybe the cycles and DOSBox? Maybe. Um, I don't know if it's running too fast. I'm not sure. Oh, looks like we lost one of our... Uh, They're attacking us, sir. Ridiculous. Affirmative, Captain. She's fast. Gets in there. Nice and quick, isn't she? I'm impressed, I'm, I have to say, I'm impressed with the writing already. That is quite good. Kind of, you've got some characterization already there, which is, which is a nice thing to have. Oh, see, it's very fast though. Boom, yes. Quite satisfying when you get them, but... Really hard to leave the target though, for this ship anyway. I feel like I need the cockpit to be moved down a bit. <laughs> this is fa for 91, this is brilliant actually to build this. this is really One fighter down. Yay, well done everybody. Um, <laughs> this is really good. I have enjoyed this, this is funny. Yay, we're home. Uh, now there is a there is a bank control. Which one is it? Concordia request. Affirmative, you are clear to land. Maybe the docking bay of the Concordia. Oh, where's the bank? Hang on, there is a roll command. Let's have a look over here. Um, somewhere there was a roll command, I thought. Roll left, there we go. Shh. Okay, so which one, where's the where's the dock <laughs> where's the docking bay? Uh, is it at the front? That's the problem with these sprites. Because of the sprite nature, it's quite hard to figure out where the front is. Okay, I've reached the destination. There's no auto pipe, so aren't I supposed to get docking control? Or do I already get docking? Uh, Uh, you just sort of get into range, I think. The first game was for 286, this one's optimised for the 386 instruction 6. So there's more performance, isn't there? Um, you can see it's come on quite a long way in a year, actually. The resolution is the same, but the actual game feels much more immersive. It's really good. And little, little details like the ship's being pulled around the hangar and stuff. And actually that zoom out there, do you see that? The circular zoom. Very Star Warsy. Everyone calls me Sparks. Hello, Sparks. So what do you think of the Concordia? Oh, well, she's one hell of a ship. <laughs> Glad you were out there fighting for us, Captain. Second time round. I kind of like this rusty old tugboat. One more ship killer torpedo. Ooh. Sure would have made it a little difficult for all of us here. Yeah, okay, so the sh the we always seem to be put on a, a not a very good ship, don't we? One more solid torpedo hit would have taken out the Concordia and all hands aboard. Ouch. Oh, stay on my ship. I'll never let that happen, Sparks. This was a tough fight. I scored the broadswords to the battle and they engaged the cruiser. Cordia parts are damn good. They destroy the Frelthra. Then we were ambushed by three 
unpronounceable heavy fighters. Um, how did you do? I destroyed three of them. That's not bad, Squirrel. You're with So the debriefing here is no, a, bit, a bit more um, kind of conversational, isn't it? Shadow East, iced two of the enemy. Well, better get back to work. Let me know if I can do anything for you, Captain. Thanks, Bobs. I like how everybody on the crew seems to be a sort of 20 something young woman. <laughs> Who's this aimed at again in this game? <laughs> uh, quite funny. Right, yes, I'm sure. Squirrel, why do I keep tapping squirrel in every single time? Where's my where's my chalk leaderboard as well? Um <laughs> Where's the bar? This is the same. Yeah, we're still. The only difference here now is that that door is closed and this door is open, and so the TCS Concordia seems to have the same interior as the space station I was on. Um, so, but there, where's, where's the bar? I mean, come on, guys. Where's the bar? <laughs> uh, copying the Star Wars fade effects. I couldn't imagine running the old one on the 286. I remember playing Wolfenstein 3D on the 286 in school. And it was yeah, it ran that rubbish. Um, it worked, but slowly. In fact, it worked too fast to the point of not being playable on a 486. Okay, so it's yeah, optimizing the performance back in those days was quite quite good. Oh, to be fair, I think Lucas copied these wipes in Star Wars from older films. Yeah, I guess the last ten years have seen the decline of chalkboards and drinking. <laughs> Things aren't as good as in the good old days, are they, Big Boo? No, they're not. <laughs> oh well, anyway, onwards we go. That's the repair deck. That, that ship's been moved about again. Good afternoon, Captain. Mind helping with the systems check? Sure, Spark Shield Polarizers. Shield Polarizers check. Spark, tell me about that. Was the, that was it. There we go. We're fixed. Tell me about the Admiral. Damn fine, Commander. Too much for hardliner for my taste. Check capacitors. Capacitors check. You're on his bad side, sure enough. He's just trying to look out for his people. Capacitors check. There we go. So we have a sort of, we have lots of different cutscenes. We do have a lounge, but we're not allowed in the lounge. Check scanner dish, scanner dish check. For what it's worth, I think you were in the clear on the tiger's claw. Uh, so she's a fan, that's good. Thanks, it's good to know someone believes me. Angel vouch for you, and that's all that matters to me. Com circuits check. Heard you were going back to the Carnarvon today. Hey, we're going back to the space station. I'll launch as soon as we finish this check. Well, take care of yourself, Captain. I hope to see you back here soon. Thanks, Sparks. Spark the engineer. <laughs> Flight deck on the TCS Good Corner. Right, I'm flying back. Bum, 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 bum. But the music's the same. I always thought it was mean to have the only arcade machine on Tiger's Claw to be Space Sim, which was <laughs> the break from Flight Space Sim. Yeah, he's on Pac Man or something. That'd be quick. Now we have a lounge and a bar. So later, off we go. Right, we're leaving the TCS Concordia behind. Going back to the space station. Mm, well, that was an easy mission. <laughs> Carnarvon Station, this is Captain Wager. <laughs> Captain Wager! Where's Christic landing? Stay in a parked orbit, Wager. We're clearing a freight of a departure. Affirmative, Carnarvon. Well, Shadow, I guess it's back to life at Carnarvon Station. Oh, uh, there we go, you've completed Wing Commander 2. <laughs> I just hope that you get that transfer to the Concordia Squirrel. She's a beautiful ship. If I wasn't retiring next month, I might try for a transfer. She can't retire? How old is she? It won't happen. Admiral Tolwood hates me because I told the truth. Meanwhile, on the Concordia. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> These are the good cutscenes, aren't they? It's a much better story. It's just really cool. I kind of <laughs> want to know what's happening next. It's really good. <gasps> no, there's a bomb. Look, there's a bomb on the ship. Boom. That's brilliant. This is TCS Concordia requesting immediate assistance. Excellent. We are under attack by Kirathi Strike Force, who also managed to plant a bomb somehow. But our flight deck has been damaged again. <laughs> we can't launch fighters. <laughs> once, is an, once is an error, twice is a conspiracy. Concordia, this is Captain Wega. What's your status? Well, the flight deck's damaged and we can't launch our fighters. <laughs> New orders from the Admiral. Defend the Concordia. 
How's the Admiral know? Roger Concordia, Shadow, reset your order there for the Concordia. This is very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Experimentative scroll, let's go. This is brilliant. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Captain Wager, space adventure to the rescue. Us, go get him, Shadow. It's up to us to save the day again. <laughs> I love saving the day. Ah, uh, this is what space operas are supposed to be about. <laughs> uh, if I could just actually hit something. What's your target, Captain? The light on my screen. <laughs> Form on my wing, we'll take them together. Uh oh, no, she's breaking off. This is gonna go badly. Is there on your tail? Break right before my wing. No, no, no. Don't split up. It never works. Oh, there's a cutscene as well. This is gonna die a horrible death. No! <laughs> and you can't even help. That's, that's bad. Give me a cutscene. And kill one of my characters in the cutscene. That's not. That's not nice. <laughs> that's that's really low. <laughs> it was all going so well. We've destroyed an enemy fighter. Good for you. I haven't. adventure of other you know. Boom! Yes. <laughs> flight assist. No, there's no flight assist. Oh, there we go. Right, hang on. Interesting cutscene. People age slower in space. She's 21, but she's actually 65. Why bother with a clock on a hidden bomb? We've got to love the... <laughs> Where's your wingman pilot? <laughs> oh dear, it's Admiral Dolan. Shot down, sir, defending your carrier, sir. <laughs> Why in hell didn't you give us any support? I don't like your tone, mister. <laughs> I don't like your haircut. I don't give a damn, sir. Ooh, I'm sorry about your wingman pilot. These things happen. We're 
jumping out the system in 15 minutes and you can't launch there before then. No, I'm not delaying, I'll jump for you. Get the officer of the day to give you a bunk. Okay, now I'm stuck on the TCS Concordia with Admiral Tolwyn. We'll ship you back to Carnarvon later. I'll make sure you have some work to keep you busy. But you better stay out of trouble on my ship, pilot. Is that understood? <laughs> it's all going well. Yes, sir. Dismissed. The writing is so much better. <laughs> I mean, it's cliche writing, but it's it's really good. Uh, <laughs> well, I bet they're going to frame me down. <laughs> Oh, hectic find the comms people on the big ship seem less well drawn than the pilots. Yeah, they do a bit, a bit, a bit kind of not quite finished, don't they? Uh, <laughs> good story there. That was that was really good. You know, planted hidden bomb by you know by my poor dear comrade. What was the name? Shadow. Liz. Poor Liz has already been killed. He killed in the cutscene. I mean, that's that's, that's mean. <laughs> uh, what happened to you? I got killed in the cutscene. Oh hell! <laughs> <laughs> At least she got her own kind of little bit of the movie, though, you know. It's, yeah, it's changed, isn't it? It's much more of a kind of movie experience now than the first game was. They've definitely refined that over um, over the previous game. Even though the graphics technology isn't that much more advanced, it's the same resolution, same colour, what they've done with it is way, way better. Um, it's really impressive how much it's moved on. Um, 15 minutes later. <laughs> da da da! Okay, hyperspace jump. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, so we've got Niven System Enigma Sector. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Um, here we are today to bid farewell. Okay, this is Liz, presumably. One of the Confederate's finest pilots. <sighs> Better watch this one then, haven't we? Did not know Captain Norwood very well. But she was a dedicated and skilled pilot. Other than she lost a bit of discipline at the end. Her death is a Confederation's loss. Friend is not the only Confederation pilot who has died in the line of duty. No, we've lost hundreds of them. Mostly as wingmen of <laughs> Commander Squirrel. Death is a fear that each one of us must face every day aboard this ship. Indeed. We cannot forget why we are here and what we are fighting for. A funeral, but not for Squirrel, no. How <laughs> many pilots have given their lives for our goals? Um, and we will continue to fight in their memory. Bum, bum, bum. Um, oh, farewell, Liz. She didn't eject either. So they've got some sort of... They stand. They get, all get on their spacesuits and they stand on the outside of the ship to, to you know, send their, their pilots off as, as a, a memorial. That's, you know, quite... Yeah, it's a lot of dedication. <laughs> Back in the barracks, meanwhile. I know, a funeral but not for school. How rare. <laughs> uh, a reference to Larry Niven, one would hope. Yeah, Drew, Jeanette and I just wanted to say we're sorry about um, Shadow. This was one of the few friends I've had since the Tiger's Claw disaster. I remember how I felt when Boss Man was killed. C'est la guerre, my friend. Ooh, bit of French. She was close to going home to her family. Another month and her hitch would have been up. Damn it. This <coughs> war is stolen so much from us. But you cannot dwell on that, Squirrel. What's about would that be nice? We'd be here to have a drink at the bar right now. Like Hunter. <laughs> Remember the practical jokes he'd play on Maniac? Yes, good old Maniac. Presumably he'll be back. Like the time you put that slime rat in Todd's bunk. <laughs> Another trope of the death of the almost retiree. Yes, you don't want to go on one final mission, do you? Never go on one final mission. I'm just going to go on that one final mission before I retire. No, 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 don't do that. Ah, oh, Drew, we've missed you so much. Oh, it's nice. I'm glad you're with us once again, Squirrel. Uh, oh, they like me again. It's good, right? <coughs> I d dare I say there's a slight romantic tension going on now between Squirrel and Angel. <laughs> uh, right, well, I suppose. I suppose. Do I save the game here? Might as well. Just, just to be safe. Um, yes. I I'm allowed to change the name of my save. Anyway, let's find the next mission, find what's going on. Why is a slime rat a creature that exists? <laughs> Sounds unpleasant. Yeah, it doesn't sound nice. Briefly moving, we're back on the Concordia again, folks. Onwards we go. The Concordia.
Concordia arrived in the Niven system half an hour ago. Our new destroyer escort, the TCS William Tell. <laughs> Our mission is to determine if the enemy is preparing for an assault on Niven. It'll be led by Asimov, I'm sure. <laughs> Niven Colony HQ has reported kill rally jump traces in their system. Uh, <laughs> Spirit, you'll need to patrol a uh, patrol. You'll lead a patrol wing to investigate. Excellent. May I request Squirrel as my wing? You may. No, the Admiral doesn't want Captain Wager flying combat missions. Oh. Okay, what am I going to do then? But I do need a reconnaissance pilot squirrel. We need more information on the Kilrathi capital ship movements in this area. Your ship is equipped with a trace analyzer. Ooh, okay. Um, the analyzer automatically scans for the jump trails of host of Kilrathi vessels. Neat. You will fly this mission in a broadsword. Your turret crew is on the flight deck. My turret crew. The broadsword has lots of firepower, but it's not quite as agile as the other fighters. No problem, Colonel. So we're sending a unagile ship in with an analyzer. Banzai! <laughs> Once at the same time, a patrol quadrant seven. That's all. Pilots dismissed. Okay, so we get to fly a broadsword. Broadsword, this is Danny Boy. Broadsword, this is Danny Boy. That's got to be a bit, surely. <laughs> Spirit is brunette. Yeah, but she's changed her hair. Yes. Hyperspace Clan Admiral. It's kind of, it's kind of like the, the script is a cliche storm, but very well executed. It's enjoyable. It is brilliant. It's a, <laughs> I'm just loving the, loving the cliches. Right, okay, so what we got on here? We've got Pylum Fire and Forget weapons, Chaff Pod, Torpedo, and... Okay, that's it. So Pylum, Chaff Pod, and the Torpedo. We've got just mass driver guns. Help me! Oh, help me. There. Well, what can I do about that? Help me. Yes, <laughs> big food. Wait, the recon vessel has firepower but less agility. That makes a lot of sense, right? <laughs> so we're sending an unescorted heavy bomber out to do recon. Yeah. Okay, now I've got three enemy ships. This is this is this is this is good. Stress signal. It's a trap. Yeah, I know. Which means you'll come. Which year did this come out, Cyber Blitz? This is 1991. So yeah, it's pretty good for 1991, I think. Right, objective reached. Keep plugging them through. Oh, we got more pilots. What have we got there? We don't know. Boom. It's quite hard hitting though, I'll give it that. Oh, oh, I took some damage there. I lost my targeting lock. Not good. We've got an auto repair capability. Oh, I'm my guns as well. That's not good. <laughs> Replay the mission. 
Ugh. Bloody hell, since I've been since I was 13. Shush! Stop it. <laughs> I was only 21. I mean, that's how long ago this was. <laughs> right. the ship can do. Oh, it's just run out of range. Mm. There we go. Uh, there's going to be more trouble ahead. I've got no... That's, that's just not good. I wonder if I keep getting locked target locked because I can't evade anything. It is quite tough though, to be fair, which is good. Let's fire a fire and forget. Have one of them. Oh, there's even a little animation on the. That's quite cool as well. I don't know if my missile actually hits him or not. But... Yay, we made it back to the TCS Concordia. And actually, this is now simplified. Okay, Affirmative, you are clear to land. I'm clear to land. So I'll just fly into the Concordia. Yeah, you can't just fly at it now. Um, SL-71, that's what I needed. Yeah, Blackbird. Concordia, this is Captain Wager. Do you copy? Loud and clear, squirrel. Loud <laughs> and clear, squirrel. What's your situation? Um, completed my patrol. We've definitely got company. Clarify, squirrel. Oh, that one was empty. I swept through and there were some trees where there's a bunch of Grakaths headed away at Nav 3. <laughs> Did you take down any enemy ships? Uh, only about six. Oh, four. <laughs> four of the hairballs got good, yeah. Bring it on home, squirrel. Actually, while well, we need that tree state to find the home base for those fighters. So presumably at some point, because I'm in disgrace, there's going to be some critical mission where only I can save the day. I'll go back to that. <laughs> right, okay, so we've survived that one. Here we are, mission five. to the barracks. TCS Concordia. Oh, oh we're playing games! <laughs> Squirrel, have you met Colonel Ral... Ral... Ralga? Ralga, you mean... Question mark. Yes, those Drowthy we flew ten years ago back on the Tiger's Claw. Calibre is the kill Wrathy captain who defected and brought them over to our side. Ooh, we have a gat on board. It's the ship's cat. It's an honor to meet you, Captain. Call me by my call sign, Hobbs, please. <laughs> You've got your own cat. Excellent. <laughs> I'm in for ten. 
Americanism, whatever that means. Stingray, have you met Squirrel? <laughs> totally not a sound out of TNG poker games. No, no, it's a hot spot that ran out on the. It's a, he's the hot shot that ran out on the tiger's claw, isn't he? Oh, so these none of the blokes like me. Yeah, have you noticed that? Say what you want, Stingray, but I didn't run. Hey, same to me either way. I'm just here for the adrenaline rush. Okay, it's another. Very polarised. All the blokes think I'm a coward, and all the ladies think I'm I'm okay. She's out. I must fold. Oh, we're playing poker, of course. Yes. You're dreaming, kid. Raise your ten. Oh, that's why he's in for ten. Right, we're playing poker, of course. Duh. Anybody else want to lose some money? Three aces. You beat that stingray. Not me. You're up, Maracco. This game is seven card stud. Yeah, we normally talk about what type of game it is before we start playing. I'm done, count me in another time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hobbs is in Wing Commander 3 too. Okay, so yeah, I remember Hobbs being in Wing Commander 3. So, um, um, you know, we've been introduced to him. He's, he's, a, he's a defector um, now, which is quite cool. Uh, Captain Wago, report to flight deck for immediate launch. Meanwhile, I'm like it. Why are we launching without a briefing? <laughs> Concordia to Squirrel. Squirrel, you got me. Yep, I'm here. Why am I in the ship? What am I doing? It's a squirrel, go ahead. We've lost communications with Niven due to sunspot activity. <laughs> You'll carry a comm packet from the Admiral to the Chief Officer at Niven. Ah, oh, so I'm Admiral Tolwyn's delivery boy now, eh? <laughs> Your course is recording to your nav computer. <laughs> We've plotted it to avoid enemy encounters and not deviate from your course. You will not have a wingman for backup, so obviously things are going to go badly wrong. So if you get into a combat situation, you're on your own. That's what being on your own means! You'll receive your new assignment from Niven. Roger that, Concordia. Squirrel out. <laughs> okay. So I have to say, this is much, much, much better written than the previous game. They really thought about the narrative here. Dare I say the word narrative? They really, really, really thought about it. This is much, much more impressive. Um, I, I'm, I am genuinely impressed how much better it is. I thought it was just going to be another sequence of Wing Commander 1, but this is... This the is... Imperial oh, look. Guard will kill <laughs> you! Attack. Uh, I can't fight like five alien sh enemy ships in this thing. That's ridiculous. Let's get, let's, let's get out of here. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do a brave Sir Robin here. The important thing is to get the message through, right? Admiral Tolwyn will respect me, surely, if, if I do. Meanwhile, <laughs> some communications. Kalrathrak, Rachrachrachrach, it's the Klingons. Klingon cats. Harash, Rachrachrachrach. Is that Hobbs then? Thanks for watching the comm station for me, sir. Back so soon, kid. What's going on here? Um, it doesn't take long to get coffee. Hey, that's a Karathi on the screen. Why, oh, yes. I believe it is. <laughs> you should take longer break again. Ooh! No problems. <laughs> so presumably there's a mystery as to who this who this traitor is. We have a traitor on board. Da, da, da. Uh, it's nice the characters are actually characters not there to give you gameplay tips in the bar. It is most so much better, isn't it? Alright. There are clearance grants. So this is this is Niven Station. Um, I like the multiple locations, briefings, debriefings, different tension around the crew. It's very good, yeah. Already parked and standing by for ALS, Air Automatic Landing System. How did you do? Well, I just thrusted straight through them. They got away. Actually, they didn't get away. I didn't even try firing at them. Sorry to hear that, Captain. ALS is linking now. I thought it was more important for me to get the message through, though. Um, they were mentioned, the Mandar um, uh, Mandarins, the fifth columnists of the Fed Confederation. Ah, uh, okay, so that's who the baddies are. Oh, look, look, flying down onto a planet surface. Well, that planetary landings. Oh, look, we've got a different, different locale now. Nice. Exit to DOS. Uh, fly 
mission. Oh, view story. I can't. Can I save? Oh, I can save that game here. Okay, good. Much, much better than the previous game, isn't it? Surprisingly so. Um, okay, so there's nothing else. There's still no bar. <laughs> Turns out the traitor was the Admiral all along. Oh no! Well, I suppose we're going to find out. Um, is it Mandarins? Captain Wager reports to the flight deck for immediate launch. Okay, up from the planet, a pack in space. Niven to Squirrel. Squirrel, do you copy? Yes. Loud and clear, Niven, go ahead. A course in your nav computer takes you back to the Concordia. Excellent. But General Schnell's <laughs> got a job for you to do on the way. Good old General Schnell. Roger that, Niven, what's up? You'll escort the, the Bomis and the Excalibur to their jump point. No, not their escort mission. After they jump out, proceed to the Concordia by a program route. Oh, no. What's the cargo, Niven? Medical supplies for the outpost at Agaro 2. Oh, so it's really important, this escort mission as well. Another outbreak of Watson's disease. <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> just be normal supplies, girl. Just be careful out there. Guess what? There's been an increasing amount of enemy activity in the system. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Long-range patrol ran to Drak. Hey, <laughs> fighters. Roger that. Thanks for the heads up. Squirrel out. Um... Yes. Glad to got... see you, sir. Good to... <laughs> Good to see you, sir. You probably haven't been reading about how some of my escort missions have gone, right? Uh-oh. You got company. Let you get them, I suppose. Oh. Watch your target, sir! Watch your target, sir! I'm trying to avoid hitting my own guys, but you know, it is difficult. Why are we always outnumbered like 4 to 1? This seems greatly unfair. This shit, this fight doesn't even have any missiles on board, so it's not. Requesting good. assistance, sir! Yeah, I know. Requesting assistance, sir. No! I think I just failed the mission. A bit brutal, really. I think I'm heading down the bad path. Oh no, around it. <laughs> yeah, no, four against one plus. Oh, no, it's insane. It's just like, there's no way you're going to win this mission, is there? Uh, it's like, underpowered ship, four Glad against one. Glad to see you, sir. It's just like, there's no way I can win this. <laughs> it's just totally against the odds. Watch your target, sir. <laughs> Ships flying to my fire station. <sighs> oh, the enemies are so far. Hey, I nailed an enemy fighter! Oh, well done. Good man. Sounds really impressed with himself. Hey, I nailed an enemy fighter! Oh, you did it as well, well done! They're doing my work for me. I mean, what it is, is my amazing evasive skills. Oh, the Kilrathi are so confused. Requesting assistance, sir! you the option to fail, I suppose. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ah, oh, dear. This is hard. <sighs> Glad to see you, sir. <laughs> I had to 
missiles. Sadly, I got to go now. Thanks always for the stream, Drew. No worries. Take care, my friend. See you soon. Um, <laughs> don't tell me there's more fight here. No, what? That's just <laughs> no. <laughs> How am I supposed to defeat them? Oh, come on. <laughs> you have died. Glad to see you, sir. Watch your target, sir. Watch your target. Jumped. Yes. Nice. Let's get this last ship then because we need to die. There's something weird with the targeting, right? It's all Maybe I don't need to lock the target. <sighs> Dun -dun -dun. I think they jumped out. Yes! <laughs> we made it. There's a lot of luck involved, actually. <laughs> the graphics are definitely improved as well, aren't they? They look a bit better. Oh, they're still a bit... They're very kind of... wacky result there, but... They're, they're pretty good. More space tea. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> 
In X Wing, there was a mission literally called Beat the Odds. Do I need to. There we have a Chris Landing. Let's hear your report, Squirrel. In X Wing, there was a literal mission called Beat the Odds, which is about how you required real parts to stand against the numerical spirit of the Empire. I know you need to at least beat odds of 3 to 1. Right. The TCS bomber is left on schedule, no problems. And the Excalibur jumped out without any difficulties, apart from the fighters you can get it. Do you have anything else to report? How about don't send me on missions where it's virtually impossible to complete? Not much. Pain in hell for fur balls. Not bad, we <laughs> Engaging airless now, and be prepared to surrender your sidearm upon arrival. What? Say again, Concordia. The Admiral's ordered all personal weapons turned over to security. <laughs> We've had a murder on board and an unauthorised broadcast. Who was it? We don't know. This is an unsecured channel, Wigger. You have to land immediately. Affirmative. Scribble out. Okay, the intrigue increases. <laughs> Make another run to Fujin. <laughs> Get me some Fujin tea, my friends. Yeah. Ooh, so. I'll go back, sir. What's going on? All right, let's um, save the game because that was that was tricky. We are at least being able to make progress. The fact that you can quickly retry the mission is a much much as a really good game improvement actually. So it instantly goes back to the beginning of the mission rather than you having to go through the whole thing before. Drew, please join us. Have you heard about Specialist McGuffin? <laughs> Somebody blew him away in the com room. <laughs> Specialist McGuffin. <laughs> uh, nothing there letting out. <laughs> McGuffin. <laughs> Could this be connected to the explosion on the black deck? <laughs> yep. That's possible. Strange things have happened lately. And it all started right aboard the time you came aboard, Drew. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. He doesn't like me, does he? Are you suggesting something, Major Coulson? Not at all, Captain. Not at all. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, MacGuffin is a uh, is a writer's term, actually, for um, a device that will come in important later. <laughs> but we don't really care about it because it's just a thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Not much. The rude com officer was my crush back in the day. She's a fine there. What the, uh, what the, the blonde, the girl with the blonde bib at low resolution. Um, I Mr. Chalkboard, says DJ Squid. Yeah, where's the chalkboard? So you like green pixelated ladies? <laughs> says Commander <Kavala> Gilman. <laughs> uh, you can fly a mission with her. Okay, Drew, this is. Okay, we'll have to find out about um, uh, blonde comms lady. I don't think she has a name yet, does she? Um... <laughs> I like the way everyone's basically, ah, oh, let's see if we can blame blame the squirrel. Blame the squirrel. So all that basically it's 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 every it's every schoolboy's dream this game, isn't it? All the all the girls like you and all the guys hate you. Hey. Eh? Could be worse. Uh fun, fun, fun. Briefing room on the TCS Concordia. It's been well aimed this game. It's been well aimed. Uh, before we begin, I wish to make a statement. In a fridge exit, you all have the, <laughs> the specialist MacGuffin. <laughs> Some of you heard it true. MacGuffin was murdered by a spy, a filthy spy. A traitor who was broadcasting important data to the Gilrathi. We have reason to believe the traitor is a fighter pilot. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> Everyone looking nervous? This is why the security team searched all of the pilot's quarters this morning. Did we find anything? That's why Stingray isn't on the flight roster today. Presumably I'm gonna have some I'm gonna be framed again. Someone's gonna find something incriminating in my cabin out there when I'm away on a mission. There will be no loose talk on this subject, Major. Stingray will return to duty tomorrow. With that out of the way, let's get down to business. Business. The plot definitely thickens. Yep. They definitely knew their target audience very well. well. In a few minutes, the Concordia is jumping into the Gora car system. Bop it up, bop it up, bum bum. Reconnaissance near Niven indicates that the Kilrathi moved through the Niven system. Dot dot dot. But their real target is Gora car. 
the roadkill rathi colony that joined the confederation 10 years ago. Angel assigns scout wings to clear the route from the jump point to the Gora car. And your assignment is the last. Squirrel, you're back in your ferret for this one. <laughs> you'll be flying a wide scout pattern on the Google. Why can't I have a decent ship? Nobody ever gives me a decent ship. I thought I'd been doing all right. Why haven't I got a better ship by now? No medals, no promotion, nothing. Um, like they got the TCS Google here, yeah, I've got this rubbish little x wing thing. Right. Oh, I'm on my own again. I'm still on my own. It's quite a good looking ship, yes, I'll give it that. But it's kind of not all that great in a fight. Ah, I'm with again! Oh, didn't even see that coming. <sighs> Replay the mission. I've died. Again. <laughs> Here we go again. some of them I can't then they, they come back in so they're cloaking fighters they know how to jam our systems oh, that's mean so now they're gonna have evidence that the cloaking fighters are actually real if I can survive cloaked for very long. Looks like it's Klingon style that can't fire while cloaked. Ooh. It's impossible. No ship that small's got the cloaking device. now we've got evidence now that there is cloaked ships about that's not going to go down well with Mr. Tolwyn is it assuming I can survive this oh no there's more of them these are cloaking ships as well Fight like a coward, maybe I can insult them. No, bomb system's damaged as well. <laughs> yeah, ow. It's slowly picking me apart because I can't see it coming. <sighs> I've got one half working gun now. No, it's not good. Get ready to reject. Long do 
game so. Sitting here, I'm a sitting target. Come do your worst. Where are you? <laughs> it's not. It's decided not to attack me now. to survive and run away I think. It's a long way off but maybe I can make it. Eighteen. There we go, I got out of range. Oof. Well, will this change how everyone perceives me now? Affirmative, you are clear to land. Okay, there's um Somebody's, somebody's, somebody's crush there. Whoever that was, the blonde lady on the on the comms panel. <coughs> there we go. Eighteen hundred kilometers out. Dun, 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 dun. Right, my ship's being shot up pretty badly. Glad you made it back alive, sir. Colonel Devereux's office, TCS Concordia. Oh, she's the colonel. Wow. Okay, I'm in your captain. What happened to your flight recorder, squirrel? My flight recorder? The flight deck officer said it was damaged. The data disk was destroyed. No! <laughs> Not fair! I must have taken a hit in combat. No, that doesn't matter. Angel, there are Kirathi stealth fighters in this system. Typical, my flight recorder's been damaged. Are you joking with me? No? Angel, don't you believe me? Those stealth fighters were real. They were! Not this. What am I supposed to do? Oh no. What's gonna happen now? She's not gonna believe me. You have no flight recorder to prove an encounter with these invisible fighters. No, you gotta believe me, Angel. Honest. Damn it, I trashed four of those ships. But there is no proof. I will enter a record that you killed four Draki fighters. But no one will believe the story of stealth ship. No, it's all gonna go wrong, because this is about to be some major disaster. Angel, you have to tell Tommel about this immediately. I'm sorry, Squirrel, I cannot take this to the Admiral. Oh no, oh no, they're putting this between us. You've never believed the stealth fighters existed, have you? Oh, it's all coming apart now. Me and, me and Angel, we're over. Not now and not ten years ago when they destroyed the tiger's claw at the Kilrathi Katang Mad Patang Patang Patang. <laughs> Whoops, where's my thrible? Angel, do you really believe I'm responsible for the destruction of the tiger's claw? Get some rest, squirrel. We'll talk about this later. Uh oh. Damn it, Janet. Tell me what you think. Damn it, Janet. <laughs> Please, Drew, I must go to the bridge now. We will talk later. She's very calm. She doesn't believe me. I'm betrayed. No. Nobody believes me in my stealth ships. Oh, it's all going to go wrong. Something bad is about to happen. I'm guessing a whole set of pilots are about to get wiped out because they don't heed my warning. And then I shall be, I shall be revered. Well, if it isn't our hero, Captain Wager. <laughs> Captain Darling. 
What's your problem, Stingray? <laughs> I don't have any problems. <laughs> Except my pilot's wings were missing from my locker during inspection. Ooh, someone stole your pilot's wing. So, guess what? They're going to turn up in mine. That dead idiot MacGuffin had pilot wings in his hand. Oh, that's interesting. Now they think I killed the guy. Did you? <laughs> Obvious question. <laughs> Go to hell, squirrel. Everybody hates each other on this ship, don't they? Uh, you wouldn't understand how it feels to have people hating you. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> oddly enough, for something you didn't do. Yeah, oddly enough. <laughs> you're, you're wrong, Stingray. I'm, going, I'm the only one on board who would understand. Oh, maybe Stingray is going to be my friend after all. Back on the flight deck, meanwhile. Squirrel, I've been looking for you. The briefing will be held in my office today. Oh, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> Anything to liven up a dull afternoon? Angel, just why are we hanging around the Enigma Sector anyway? Okay, so we're back on speaking terms of Angel or something. And the Enigma Sector has some unique properties, Squirrel. In other sectors, a ship can only jump from one star system to the next. And for here in Enigma, it's possible to cross the entire sector in a single jump. They won't believe in invisible ships until they see them. Does this have anything to do with a black hole in the... Ooh, a black hole in the Enigma system. Our astrophysicists are certain there's some connection. Black holes yeah, do their thing, right? But regardless of the cause, the strategic value of Enigma is tremendous. Bah, bah, bah. We could outmaneuver the Karathi and leapfrog into adjacent sectors. It's a tactical, strategic thing. Or the Karathi could do the same to us, hitting Earth and the home worlds. It is here we must defeat the enemy if we're to protect our people. Now we best go to meet your new woman at my office. Uh, who's this gonna be? Is it gonna be? Bets everybody who it's gonna be. Is it gonna be Maniac? Is it gonna be Maniac? <sighs> Maniac or who's the other guy? Paladin. Well, oh, hang on, we had this bit. Colonel Devereux's office on the TCS Concordia. No, Hobbs, it's Hobbs. I get to fly with the cat. <laughs> You've been introduced to the Colonel Angel. Yep, I've been introduced to the Colonel. Good, you'll be his wingman today. Oh, I'm not even in charge of the mission anymore. We'll fly simple patrol, gentlemen. Touch all nav point and cat, uh, and then return. Colonel, I respectfully request a real mission, not busy work. Colonel Ralga, this is a real mission. The Kirathi may be launching a major offensive against Karakha. Reconnaissance data is critical now. Yeah, good old Hobbs. Uh, good day, Drew and chat. Hello, lucky Luigi. Good to see you, sir. I'll lead the patrol myself, Angel. Just give me another wingman. Oh, preferably someone human. Oh, I've got a problem with Kirathi. Excellent. Mon Dieu, you are both are insubordinate. Oh, she's not happy with us now. Squirrel, I'm appalled. Hobbs is a hero of the Confederation. You should be more honoured. You should be honoured to fly with him. Yeah, nobody believes me anyway. <laughs> you will both fly the mission as assigned and I will hear no more. Good for you, Angel. That's what you should be doing. Slapping us down. I have assigned you both to rapiers. Hey, we've got a decent ship at last. <laughs> the ship is fast and maneuverable with light armour, but excellent shield. Excellent, excellent. A decent ship. Be careful, gentlemen. That is all. Yeah, good to see her basically <laughs> slapping us down. Good, good for good for him. Bum, 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 bum. Decent ship as well. This is good. Final mission. I think this is probably going to be the final mission of the afternoon. So yeah, at last we got into a decent ship. <laughs> Playing as a space assist. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's true. Didn't think about things like that in the back in the day. It's just oh, we got a problem with cats. Hey, well, Hobbs the squirrel. Oh. Squirrel, I want you to know I do not share the Admiral's opinion of you. Look, as a cat in a helmet. I have observed your career even before I came over to the Confederation. Your skill is well known within the Empire, if not among your own people. Thanks a lot, Colonel. 
You sound as though this offends you. Excellent cat. Let's say I'm not used to compliments from a Karathi, sir. Understandable. In any case, I am now your wing leader. Oh, I've got to follow Hobbs. I expect you to obey my orders, Captain. Is that understood? Of course, sir. Excellent. Then my first order is that you take command of this wing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would like to observe your skills personally. Ba ba ba! <laughs> Both as a pilot and as a wing leader. But the Admiral is not flying this mission. Oh, I like Hobbs already. Hobbs is cool. This is my command, Captain. And it shall operate as I see fit. Yes, sir. Aye, right, well, let's get out of the way. Your orders, Captain. <laughs> Prepare to engage autopilot with Nam 1. As you wish, Wing Commander. Ah, yes. <laughs> I like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's not implement a Wing Commander AI. <laughs> let's come up with a lore reason and a narrative reason as to why I'm still in charge. I like it. That's good writing. That's good writing. <laughs> Your ratty ship's ahead. Of course, sir. Go get him. Hobbs. Actual proper pew pew now, listen to that. Still got rid of the staple gun. <sighs> Let's try that again. I have to do reasonably well up until that point. Your ratty ships ahead. Of course, sir. Get in there, Hobbs. Let's try that again. Drew didn't survive this fight, the cat was right. 
Gilrathi ships ahead. Of course, sir. Your assistance. He's a very calm cat, isn't he? Well, Returning to base, sir. Submission. They seem to be almost immune to your fire. You'll rack these ships ahead. Of course, sir. Oh, I'm too fast. Ah! What happened there? Do we ram one? Die in dishonor. I require your assistance. No, this is earlier than the virtual cockpit stuff. Oh, one more try, then I'm going to have to call it a day. Your ratty ships ahead. Oh, 
guns. Yay! Yay! Really got more damage there. Right. Of course, sir. Let's try and take these out together. Four particle cannons. Red particle cannons and green particle cannons. Gameplay reminds me of a first world game called Wings. Um, can I move the cabin? I don't think so. Um, you've got kind of, you have got views around, which is quite cool, but that's it. Uh, right. Slightly damaged, but have we got more enemies? No. Okay, so we survived that one. Kill Rathy ships ahead. Kill Rathy ships ahead. Another victory for Kerr. Of course, sir. You will not survive this fight. Yes. Ah! Ah, oh, my friends, I can't, I can't do that again, I'm out of time. <laughs> I've died again, right at the end of the division. Well, we'll have to try Hobbs again next uh, next week and see how we do. I think we've done not too badly. I don't know how many missions we've got. So let's just see me die. We're here today to bid farewell to Sprawl. <laughs> Captain Wager. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, well, Admiral Tolwood will be pleased, won't he? Uh, ba 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 <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much. That was it's pretty good. It's much better than the previous game. Um which is uh, which is good. Um so anyway, so there we go. Right, uh, next week we'll be onwards for Wing Commander 2 a bit more. Uh, so back on Monday, my friends, back on Monday for more streaming. Have a fantastic rest of the weekend. See you back next Thursday for No Man's Sky. Uh where I'll be back from my expedition, which was good. And um, obviously then more Wing Commander saturday as well so be good have a fun time look have a fantastic rest of the day my friends and i will see you soon be good and right on wing commanders <laughs> see you soon my friends be good <laughs>